everybody! I'm Pear, here with another episode of Storytime! And I'm Orange, here to ruin another episode of Storytime! <laughs> uh, so glad you decided to join us, Orange! Really? Because your voice doesn't sound very glad! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, today we're reading Rapunzel! Do you know anything about this story, Orange? Sure don't! Fantastic! So how about we play a game of Mad Libs? I'll let you fill in the blanks in the story as we go. Sound good? Ooh, I like it. Now just to warn you, this story gets pretty nuts. So you're gonna have to get pretty wacky if you wanna ruin it. Oh no, how will I ever be wacky? <laughs> All right, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a husband and his wife who was pregnant with a baby girl. Now the wife, she loved... Okay, Orange, go ahead and fill in the blank. She loved... Radishes! <laughs> That's right! She loved radishes! Huh? That's actually how the story goes. Thank you very much for helping. Oh, um, I, I mean, I, I knew that. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, as I was saying, the wife loved radishes so much that she told her husband to get her some radishes from a garden next door, which was owned by a... Which was owned by a witch! <laughs> That's correct! It is? But I was just making a witch-witch joke. Well, it's exactly what the book says. See? <laughs> Now, the husband got caught stealing radishes, and the witch punished them by... Yelling at them! No, wait, that's too obvious. Call the police! Wait, no. Ooh, the witch kidnapped their baby just because they took a couple radishes! <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, actually, that's correct. What is happening? I told you, dude. This story is ridiculous. So the witch went off into the woods and raised baby Rapunzel and locked her in a high tower when she became a teenager. Now the tower the witch locked Rapunzel in had no ladder. So the witch got up into the tower by... Well, obviously a witch could just ride her broom up there. So I'm going to guess that she had never ever cut Rapunzel's hair. So it grew long enough to make a hair ladder down to the ground. <laughs> that is correct. Wow, looks like I might not be able to derail this story after all. It's as crazy as my imagination is. Ha, well, I'm glad you finally met your match. Now, one day a prince was riding by and heard Rapunzel. Chopping radishes. No, actually she was singing. About radishes? Probably not. Anyway, so the prince called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your... Radishes! No, let down your hair. Oh, that makes sense. <gasps> Wait, oh my gosh, Pear, the story's starting to make sense. My time to shine. We gotta make some nonsense out of this story. <laughs> oh, no. So the prince climbed up the ladder made of radishes, and he and Rapunzel both ate radishes until the witch came back from guarding her radishes, and the prince turned the witch into a radish using his magic radish. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for story time, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully next time we'll... I'm not finished! The prince and Rapunzel got married and had four baby radishes, which they named Radish, 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 and Ukmo. Enough! <laughs> Just kidding. Ukmo's name was Radish, too, and they lived happily radish after in a radish castle, and also the entire world is made of radishes. <laughs> the end! Wait, wait! Can I please have one last word? What is it? Radish! <laughs> oh, would you stop saying... Radish? <laughs> <laughs> Radish!